someone from Maryland in the house. What's up? What's up? Hey, man. Oh, do you want everything? Rawati. Well, I mean, it's curry, so you don't know. It's curry. Oh, Daron, does you see my brethren? Thanks for coming through. All the hair, man, everything right? All your good? All the hair, man. Yeah, we do not have curry, I have curry vibes. Hello, Ebony. What's up? What's up? Just on time, you're right on time. I'm starting officially, the official start time is 2.45. But I'm now waiting for people to come in because they know where to go. People will be a little late and thing. And it's not like we could rewind. Once once we start, I go in. So I want to make sure you know, enough people get to see the full process. Um, yeah, so, you know, nice, nice, nice. Nice, Darren. Good to hear, good to hear. Hope all you keep in safe and everything. So, yeah, we have on to our curry, our curry vibes. Let's wait for a few more people to enter the chat and we will start. True, all you can rewind. I can rewind, all you can rewind. But, I mean, you know. The whole thing about this is to kind of push the whole live engagement and for people to see it happening live. I mean, of course, you can always watch the video afterwards, but... Oh, Makesi. Oh, is he seen? Welcome, welcome. We inside. Yeah, we're doing curry. I think curry is everybody's favorite. City girl. plan is to keep doing this because I think on um, YouTube trying to push the whole live thing with the stay home and with me campaign so I try for it not to be only me in front of the camera so we'll see how that goes. I know people don't really want to see my face or anything. Alright, we almost there, 2.42. We have a couple more minutes, 27. Was he seen? Was he seen brethren? We Korean pigeon peas. We want curry pigeon peas. Now, remember, um, I don't know, I hope, well, I hope you all see it, but if you didn't see it, I will link to the article that um, I wrote about the quarantine, the pantry essentials. So, on the list of things was canned goods, like canned peas and beans and things. So. I wanted to do our curry using pigeon peas and well I use them provision as well so I, I know in the article I did mention frozen provisions is a real good um, item to have at this time uh, in your fridge or in your freezer it's a good way to introduce some complex carbs into your diet while you're social distancing and self quarantining and that kind of thing and I actually got this from the Market Movers. Market Movers, just like literally 10 minutes ago, if so much, delivered this and a couple other things in the back there. So, yeah, I mean, social distancing is a real thing. And I mean, we don't know how this thing would go. So, if you had to use services like the Market Movers to order stuff and get stuff to your house and thing is, you know, now is the time to do that kind of thing. Now is the time to use those kind of services and stay in your house as much as you can. I know, you know, it will be a lot of pressure for people to do that, but it's the, it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know how this, how this thing will unfold, so um, definitely utilize uh, services like market movers and that kind of thing to get your fresh items as well. 
and I have a link to Market Movers website in the video description and I'll also be posting it afterwards on social media. So, be good to go with that. Hey Wendell, what's up? I, I don't even know how to put on a fake accent. I, I, I'll probably sound real stupid if I try. I, I don't know how to do that. So, I hope if it have anybody um, internationally that you know, log, logged on and checking out. I hope they could understand me. I, you know, I just, I had to talk how I had to stop. Sorry. So, hey Tracy, busy see man. We are Tracy. Right, right. So, it is officially 2.45 and I said we starting at 2.45, so let us begin. Right. So, of course, we could go ahead and use your favorite curry to do this. But, you know, we're here and we're chilling. I mean, I have curry. I have curry. I have curry. I actually have a curry blend here that I would use if I do another quick thing. I'll just throw this together. Boom, bang and do my curry but i mean we here we are some time we social distancing we quarantining so i figure i'll do the, cur the curry from scratch i'm going to show you how i just do curry from scratch it's a real simple thing and if you do check out my videos mm -hmm videos i did a whole episode on essential spices to keep in the kitchen if you know if you're really enthusiastic about cooking and thing um, doing spice blends is a real good uh, preparation in your meals like it could just take your meals to the next level if you have spices and do your own spice blends and that kind of thing I am looking for my lighter I thought I had everything in place I didn't have the lighter in place good all right here we go so um, the first step in doing your own curry blend is toasting the spices and not burning it. I know um, people when they're doing um, jira and that kind of thing they like to burn the spice. It's not really supposed to burn it's just supposed to toast now so as soon as it's, it gets fragrant and it starts to smell it you know that the oil is releasing and that is the time when you want to remove it from the heat and then do your grinding and that kind of thing. Um, typically, I would use a spice grinder that I have there, but I mean, not everybody have a spice grinder in the house, so I use an amount and pestle. I also have, uh, I use a wooden one, I have a um, stone one as well, this one, but ceramic. Uh, the reason I'm not using this is actually the better one to use, but the reason I'm not using this is because it will make real noise on the mic and it will be kind of annoying. So using the wooden one is a, you know, a more dampened song. So, just get the pan a little hot and I have some, starting off with some coriander seeds. Alright, I'm not doing any measurements really, I just kind of winging it here. I mean, I, I make curry so much in the past. I could kind of eyeball it and know, well, all right, I know how much of this and how much of that I want. Yes, it's yogurt tins, but we are um, we upcycling here. I just keep all my dried spices and things in these um, yogurt containers. I happen, I just eat a lot of yogurt, so I have a lot of these um, containers. I'm painting some jira, whole jira. I don't know call that cumin. And then I have some meaty or fenugreek, a bit of that, and it done sat in the pop already. It's smelling real good. Let's see if I could show you that. So, yeah, that is what we're looking at there. It's toasting away. Yeah. And you see, like, so I can turn this off now because it's actually well toasted. As you can see, 
you see any smoke, you see in, it already started to change color there. Eh? So this real good. We don't need to toast this any more than this. That's what we're looking for. The oils release the aroma, filling up the kitchen. So you are be ready to go with that. And now, put this inside this without making a mess. And right. Success. And now it's just a matter of grinding it. smelling right now, Jed. This, this is, like, if you do this once, I don't think you'll ever buy curry in a pack again, Jed. If you're two spices from scratch, you'll never go back. It'll smell real good. And of course, it'll taste real good. But I mean, you know, if you don't have the time to do this and in a hurry, a curry blend, your favorite curry blend will work just as well. And the other, you know, pile of elbow grease into this. It's not, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do. But it's not, it's not a hard thing. It's just, you know, you take a left up. And it be looking good there. That's what it look like. Oh, yeah, see that? So, yeah, you can have it grinded or powdered there. And that, trust me, it's smelling real good. Now, I need to add saffron. Again, the big debate with calling the saffron. So saffron, of course, known in, you know, anywhere else in the world, is a flower. Well, it's a, it's a I guess you could call it a, it's a spice, but it's a red um, flower and it is very expensive. Uh, we call this saffron in Trinidad because of the color, but it's actually turmeric. So turmeric is the uh, correct, the correct word for it, but in Trinidad we call turmeric saffron because saffron is actually the name of this color, this yellow, kind of warm yellow color. So, a little fun fact for you there. So, I'm going to get a bowl to mix this curry. So, all the spices here. I'm going to add to this bowl. And then I'm going to add some turmeric or saffron. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. I do have... Um, a version of this that you know measured out and thing. But my intention is to at some point do some spice blends and sell them. So I wouldn't give you the exact measurements. But you could experiment for yourself and see what works for you. I just wanna mix this together. I mean you see in that. And have your own little curry going on here. Now, this actually is a very mild curry. It have no pepper in this. It has no like heat now. So what you could do is add um, some heat to it. Actually, you know what? I think I'll do that. So I will add a little bit of cayenne pepper powder to it. Again, um, this time when it might be a little more difficult to get fresh ingredients, you could rely on powdered seasonings and dried herbs and that kind of thing to help you in your cooking. So, add a little cayenne pepper there. And I'll get all the heat and 
now that is it curry powder done it's time to move on with the curry I'm gonna check the chat and see what's going on alright right. yeah 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 we're not here here now alright so what I wanna do is put these cassava to boil so what I'm doing is I'll curry pigeon peas and some boiled cassava a simple thing simple dish nothing too complicated so again Frozen um, provisions is a real good thing to have at this point um, where you wouldn't be as free to visit the groceries as you like and thing. Um, this could be or should be a pantry essential because uh, again provisions is complex carbs and we need that in our diet so you know we can't go to the market as we, we would like to to get the fresh provisions so frozen provisions is a real good thing and I did get this. I didn't get this in the grocery, I got this delivered from Market Movers. So, check out Market Movers website and place your orders if you're living in Trinidad and Tobago, of course, and get your stuff delivered. So, I want to get the provision going. I'll put it in the back. Here. Everybody have the way, you know, everybody have their own different way of preparing curry and thing. And because it's so, it's, you know, a dish that loved by all or by many, you'll find that people, you know, have, um, you know, different opinions on what does make a good curry or how, you know, what's the best way to do curry. There's a big debate between parching the curry in the pot or making a piece and then cooking it. To me, it's basically the same thing. It's a, it's, it's, it's a similar process. It's a means to the same end. Let me say it's not the same process, but it's a means to the same end. So whether you make a piece and then you chunk it or you patch your curry in the pot um, dry with the oil and that kind of thing it's negligible the difference is negligible it's not a big deal but people love to debate that I, I don't know why people just love to debate all right so I'm gonna drain this out take no big set of time to do and it's not like I'm, I'm cooking for you know five people I'm basically just cooking for me I guess so it's not a long or complicated process just uh, preparing my onions here the thing is, I, I mean, I could have do this beforehand, but I figure, was the point in prepping all this beforehand and then just standing up and watching the camera and only just watching me and, you know, nothing much going on. So I figure, well, you know, I could cut up stuff and thing while I'm talking. It kind of gave me something to do, keep myself occupied here. It would be kind of awkward if only just watching me and, you know, just watching up. 
boil. So, again, um, check out the website because I did post um, a list of things of uh, ingredients that they could use in these times to stock your pantry to help you with your cooking decisions. And we will be posting uh, more recipes for quarantine cooking and um, doing more live sessions like this to you know keep you engaged in this time of social distancing and quarantining. Alright. So I'll give me the curry one side, I'll coconut milk, peas here, and some fresh herbs. Well, they ain't, they ain't that fresh. I had this in the fridge. I mean, we're keeping it real, right? I had this in the fridge for a little bit. So, you know, the, they're on the way out, but they're not dead yet. They ain't totally dead, so we're using them. Though, all they don't watch no face. That's good to go. And use some garlic. I don't know about all of but Jed, when I cook in, I had to use at least three, four cloves of garlic, and that's on the, you know, I see like the minimum. I when I see a recipe that call for one clove or two cloves of garlic, I just be like, now they ain't serious about that. Any recipe need about three, four, five, six, seven, eight cloves of garlic. The more garlic, the better. For me, you don't have a, such a thing as too much garlic. That, that don't exist in my book. All right, so I want to put the cassava to boil. Again, I'm not gonna do too much. Because I can just do what I want in terms of portion size and then Pop this in the freezer, so that's what I'm do a little bit. You know. No, I'm not greedy. I want to do some, obviously, I'm going to eat a little bit later too, now, so I'm going to sit down and eat all this cassava in one sitting. I just eat like a real bird. I feel I just call me a kiss kitty belly. They did too. I can't eat much. I just eat like a little bit. I don't know if people just sit down and eat like a big thing of food and thing I, I can't do. Right. Provisions go in there. I'm going to deal with this garlic now. I don't, I don't even I see people laughing. I don't even know what they're laughing at. Probably some shit I see. All right. And listen, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll try to, I'm not real good at multitasking, but I'll try to keep glancing at the comment section ever so often. So, and hopefully, you know, it don't scroll too fast so I can pick up your, your comments or your questions. Kiss kitty belly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Dred, I, listen, I, sometimes I cook in something, I could lose a whole head of garlic easy. Easy, easy. I, I get, it'll never have too much garlic for me. I'll use real garlic in a dish. Normal, normal, normal. Dino C. 
Right. Garlic. Let's get all smash. Let's get all chop. I was gonna do um a curry with like tomato paste and that kind of thing. And I was like, you know what, nah, I'm gonna keep it more a little more should I say Trini curry? I mean, people still use tomatoes in Trini curry, but people do regularly use tomato paste in Trini curry. So I kind of keep in a, a more kind of Trini curry vibes going here for this. Should I use? I should probably. I'm not gonna use this. This is probably a little too sharp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a proper pot. Two seconds. I feel I regret the decision to use that small pan to curry this uh, pigeon piece. This would be a little more manageable. So, alright, a little bit of oil into the pot. I'm going to let that heat up. as well. So um, actually that's why I added the cayenne pepper to the curry powder because I have pimentos here. I have some Scots bonnet in the fridge but I didn't um, I have a, a lot of recipes to do uh, in the coming days, uh, I might need it, so I say let me not use it out if I don't have to. As well, you know, pimentos is really just for flavor. Pimentos typically don't have much heat. Although, I was talking to a, a pepper specialist in the market, and he was telling me that um, what has happened is if you plant uh, pimentos close to peppers and the birds eat it and then uh, have, well, you know, droppings near to the uh, pimentos, what would happen is you'll get like a cross-pollination kind of vibes going and you can actually end up with some very hot um, pimentos. So sometimes you buy pimentos thinking, all right, yeah, it's just pimento. It's just, you know, regular old seasoning pepper. And then when you, you cook with it, it tastes like if you use scorpion or Congo pepper. That would be the reason why. All right, so going in with the onion. Again, back to the whole debate about parching the curry or making a piece. I'm not too sure which method I want to use for this. So I could actually put the curry powder into the coconut milk, mix it up, and turn it into a piece. I could do that, or I could just put the curry directly in the pot. Well, which, which way all of you I should do? Tell me in the comments. And whatever. Where is the consensus? The consensus, sorry, are going with that. So, if I let's say powder straight into the pot, are doing that. If I let's say make the paste, I'm making the paste. What let's say? Paste. CT girl say paste. Darren say try direct. What is it? Direct. Chris saying fat shit. Tracy saying face. Well, Grace, either way, it's cooking the curry. 
It don't matter if I put it directly in the oil, make the paste, the curry will not get cooked the same way. So neither of them is not cooking the curry. Both of them is cook, both methods is a way of cooking the curry. Like it's overwhelmingly direct. People say it's fat, so right, you can unfat it. No problem. I'm gonna add the rest of the aromatics, the garlic, the pimento. At this point, all you want to see what we're doing in the pot is. All right, hold on, hold on. I want to adjust the camera for that. Hold on one sec. All right. Again, I better look at what happened inside there. I have some carapulli here. I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. is a secret ingredient. Give the curry that authentic finish. No? <coughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, that's not Corona. That is the curry burning. Just hit the back of my throat there. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't have a remote to um, move the camera. At this point, I want to add the peas. I'm just going to allow the peas to kind of fry with everything. Now the peas can really uh, absorb that curry flavor. Fry for a little bit before I add the coconut milk. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up these herbs, cut the ends off, all of that, and 
workshop. Already, you know, it's starting to split. And that's when you know the cassava cooks when it's at a split open. So I don't want it to be too soft. I want it to still um, maintain the integrity of the shape of the thing. Now I don't want it to be like mush. So I'm gonna let it boil up for about a minute or two again, and then I'll take it off and drain it. So these herbs. And anytime I'm um, you're making any kind of dish that call for fresh herbs, you always want to leave some for the end. Um, and that is kind of give always give your dish a little lift, you know. You add some fresh herbs to the end and that is just add an extra freshness to your dish. So you don't wanna throw all your herbs in one time and just and let it cook out. You put some and then I'm gonna leave this till the end. I think we're good now to add the coconut milk. Just fry and as you can see it real dry inside there. See? So I think we're good to add coconut milk now to the glaze. Idea too. I mean, I like to, I like um, the flavor. Bay leaf does add the curry pigeon piece. So you know what? I mean, I feel like I'm gonna add a bay leaf. I feel so. my bay leaf in the freezer so that it don't dry out so it's always remain fresh well fresh but it don't dry out like how if you don't put bay leaf so you see that I have this bay leaf for months in the freezer and you see what going on it's looking like it now pick so yeah keep your bay leaf in the freezer it will be good to go I add this bay leaf right inside there Mix again. A taste for salt. So, I could leave this cassava as is, but I mean, 
I mean, we're doing things, right? We're doing things. So, I think what I'll do is uh, get a little bit of butter. We here, we liming, we vibes in, you know. And then just a uh, 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 butter cassava, just so. No, 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 no. Well, a lot of our vibes to the cassava, our vibes. It's been a little bit of butter. And then, I'll put a little bit of garlic powder. What's that there? What's that? What's that? That doesn't have a, that doesn't have a character in this already. That doesn't have a character. What we have to do now is just toss them up. Toss that up. And I did um, salt the water before I started to boil the um, cassava, so chances are those don't need no extra salt. I will taste it though, just to be sure. I mean, what's the difference there? We started off with just a, a regular cassava, and now look at that, look at that, boom, boom. Washa, washa. And then our vibes. All right. See what's happening with this cassava now. Get a taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ma'am. We not get it. Right. Peas. Going on. Peas. You can prop up. I don't too much, so I want a little sauce in there. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Turn that off. It's in the really fresh herbs. Boom. Seeing, I mean, this was no hard thing, an easy thing. Watch that. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what's going on. Watch that, watch that piece. Watch that, watch that. That is vibes. That is vibes. That is what we're talking about. See, it wasn't no, no hard thing, no long thing. I just extended because, I mean, we here and we like, maybe chilling and we, you know, we not in no rush, but simple dish. I'm gonna, um, let's take out a little bit. I'm just gonna try a little bit. Take out one piece here. Uh, 
peas on each side there, boom. So, what I will be doing is, uh, as you see, I was just bringing this, but I was taking a mental note of, you know, what I use and how much of what, how much of it I use. So, I will be posting a full uh, recipe on the website, which, and I'll update the description of the video afterwards once I do that. So. If, if you want to follow step by step, I will have the recipe on the website that you can follow. Uh, again, as you can see, it was simple. And I will be doing more of these type of videos. It's probably not going to be me in front of the camera. So you'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, thanks for... <coughs> Sorry. It's the, it's the curry. It's not Corona. I promise it's not Corona. I'm good, I'm good. Don't call the people, don't call the authorities, I'm uh, good, I'm uh, good. It's the curry, the, the, the curry hit them in the back of my throat. Pepper and thing, man. cayenne pepper. And yeah, um, please subscribe to the channel, because we'll be posting more. Um, again, check out the website for the full recipe, uh, probably by tomorrow. If, if not, by later today, by tomorrow, I'll have it up. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. I, I don't know if we're seeing anything again in the chat. What going on in, in the chat? Yeah. So nobody asking any questions. So thank you for tuning in. We will be doing more of these stay home and cook with me sessions. So look out for more. Again, it will not be my old face that they will be seeing. Hopefully not. I really don't. This is not really my comfort zone. My, my role is really to be behind the camera, not in front of it. But, you know, I have to. Just to keep the ball rolling. So, here I am. But, you know, look out for more of these. Thanks for tuning in again. Yes, we did use turmeric in this. Um, uh, there's a curry blend that I did earlier, and we used turmeric, uh, coriander seeds, jeera, and fenugreek, meaty. And I put a little bit of cayenne pepper in there too. My own little curry blend that I used to make this. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks for liming. And I'm supposed to be doing a bread pudding. The bread that I made the other day, I'm going to cut it up and do a coconut bread pudding. I might do it later this evening, I'm not sure. But if I am, I will post to Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and update you all and let you know if I'm doing it. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks again for tuning in and subscribe to the channel, please. Every subscription counts in helping us towards that goal of self-sustainability and please share the video, share the channel, share across uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook with your friends and on WhatsApp as well and family. And check out the article, I will post a link to the article, actually I'm going to post the link right now. I'm going to do all your uh, uh, favor and post the article right now. So check out that link. That link is a link to um, an article I wrote, just kind of giving people a guide on uh, the type of ingredients that you could buy uh, at the groceries and supermarkets to kind of help you through this period and help you have the right stuff in your pantry and in your fridge to cook meals while you're social distancing and quarantining 
in this age of coronavirus. Please, always stay safe. Always stay in all your house. Stay home. Don't go online. Don't go and party. You're not supposed to have no party anyway. Don't go in no bar. The bar is supposed to be closed. Always stay in all your house and just chill. And, you know, let me see how this thing unfolds. I know it could be a little difficult, but small thing. We now start and we don't know how long this is going to go for. So, again, all Zandoli find a hole. Stay in your hole. Keep it locked. And I will see you all this soon. Thanks again for logging on and liming with me. See you all later.